I'm gonna get some pens for me to draw. Okay. everybody we are just doing a little day back in the life now that we are adjusting to life with four littles instead of just the three and it's been kind of crazy <laughs> we haven't been like normally vlogging we've been doing like the birth vlog and all that stuff but we're finally starting to get back into a sort of normal a sort of normal it doesn't really count because Justin is on paternity leave and obviously that will not be what we are dealing with in a couple more weeks what are you doing? More book in my lips. You got chips on your lips. <laughs> it's about nine in the morning. So far in the mornings, Justin has been waking up with the older kiddos so that I can sleep in a tiny bit more with Faye because obviously she's up a lot more during the night. And then I usually come out here around 7.30 or eight with her, but she just fell asleep. So she's actually napping in our bedroom right now. She's almost two weeks old already, which is crazy. I feel like time is going by so quickly. Are you loving being a big sister to Faye? You're such a good big sister. She loves you so much. Oh, don't spill your snack. She's been doing so well. The boys have been warming up. Even Ruben has been like just coming up to me when I'm holding her or Justin's holding her and like rubbing his cheek on her. So we're all adjusting really, really well. <laughs> And our other baby is growing so big. I don't know if you guys can tell how big he's starting to get, but he's definitely coming into his own as far as his looks and his personality. He's been adjusting really well. His hardest time of day is like five in the morning when I'm waking up to feed Faye and he thinks we're up for the day. But other than that, he's been adjusting really, really well. Dinosaurs. Look at that, he's totally Whoa. just snatched some of his chips. Like this. <laughs> Ruben. Meanwhile, like I said, she might be waking up actually right now. This girl's just taking a little snooze in the pack and play. She really loves this bassinet part of the pack and play. The twins did too at this age. And then we use this to change her diapers in the middle of the night because we don't really have another place to do a changing pad this time. Looks like she's starting to wake up a little bit though. So we're probably gonna have to pick her up and feed her in a second. I am still only pumping, like actually using a breast pump um, once a day and it's right after Faye goes to bed for the night and it's cause that first stretch, she sleeps like six hours that first stretch and if I didn't, my I would just explode. So I have to pump like right after she eats and goes down for the night I pump and then I just use the Haka um, throughout the night, the two times that she wakes up to eat usually just to make sure that I don't get like a clogged duct or anything and then I put them into bottles and combine it all into one pitcher and then the next morning I'll just bag up it's usually about three or four four ounce bags so it's not too much but I'll have like a little thing just in case in a couple weeks or months or whatever I want to go out and Justin is gonna stay home with the kids he'll have plenty of milk to be able to give her yeah I'm putting the milk into bags for her to freeze why are you drawing it you have to write the date on there and then how much milk you're putting in i feel like emma's gonna be such a little mom like i don't know she's just definitely coming into that role <laughs> i'm your mommy but i feel like you're just like a little mama she's also been super into her baby dolls ever since faye came home okay so that was actually only enough to fill two four ounce bags. This one had three ounces, which I would just do a three ounce bag, but I did that when I was breastfeeding the boys and we had a bunch of different like mismatched ounce bags and it became more complicated. So I'm trying to do them all the same. So I will just probably get an ounce later and put it in with this and then I'll be able to freeze it. But that's still pretty good. Something got trapped in the dishwasher last night. We came out at like what? 10 o'clock at night and the whole house smelled like There's burnt like plastic. little piece of food scrap that got attached to the heat Are lane. you sure that's what it was? It smelled yep. like plastic for some reason, but, but... I can see exactly where it was. It was right here. So gross. 
Yeah, it was so gross. It was. Outside. I think I have, yeah, I still have these like dishwasher we cleaning pods. So I think we'll try and run a clean cycle through it, get rid of that smell. A lot of people have been also asking how breastfeeding is going and it's finally starting to like get to like a regulated, not painful time for me. It usually takes me about two weeks to get to the point where it doesn't really hurt anymore to breastfeed. Those first two weeks are just kind of hard. She's a really efficient eater, just like the rest of the kids were, meaning like she only needs to nurse for like 10 or 15 minutes. Um, it doesn't take like 45 minutes to nurse her, which is really, really nice. She's able to get like all she needs, but she is eating like more often. So instead of every three hours, she's more more like every one and a half to two hours during the day but I think that's because she's taking such long stretches at night so she gets her calorie intake like the most during the day so it ends up working out perfectly I use the hatch app I've used this with all of the kids I don't think most people use this after they leave the hospital but for some reason with me I, I just like to have it like on record especially helped with the twins but it's the hatch app I don't know if you guys can see it but um, you can time your feedings on which side you fed them on how long they ate for I like having that information because sometimes I forget what time was the last time that they ate and I like to like know what side they ate on and what what time they ate how much they ate I've used it for like I said all of the kids and it's been really really helpful so you just hit start when you start feeding and then when you're done you save it and it keeps all the information it's also really good if you're tracking like anything for the pediatrician etc but she's been doing so so good with eating and I'm hoping that my breastfeeding journey with her is as easy as it was with the boys I had a harder time with Emma um, but the boys were able to breastfeed for 10 months so I'm really hoping that we're able to go that long if not longer I packed some orange juice for my baby. let me see do you want to show everyone your lunchbox that you got? everybody. Isn't that so cute? Did you pick that one out? Yep. She got that one at Target. Yep. You want to show me what you got? She has orange juice. Orange juice? I have orange juice. See? Where'd you get orange juice? Oh, gotcha. It's for your baby doll. Gotcha. No, it's for my baby baby. Oh, okay. I bring that for her. That was nice. Yeah, but it's really huge and big, and it has a, it's a bear one. It is. It has two, it's, yeah, but it's a cup in here. <laughs> you start school in just a couple weeks. Are you excited? Yeah, but I can pack some toys in here, right? Oh, maybe not for real school, but for pretend. Yeah, just for my arms and legs and anything. Okay. I'm going to get some pens for me to draw. Okay. She is currently only wanting to be on my chest just like this. She's even smiling in her sleep. She will not let me put her down. I tried to lay her on the bed in the back and play, but this is the only position she wants. So I'm going to just lay here for like two hours because this is just perfect. <laughs> good, good pose. That's for me to do that at dance class every time. Okay. Mascara. Mascara. Yeah, mascara. Beautiful. Hey, Mama. You need to eat my stylus, but you too. Right for you to be like a marina. That's eyeliner. Eyeliner. As you guys can tell, if I try and take Faye into the back bedroom to calm her down or anything. Emma always comes along with to be my little sidekick and just wants to do girls time, as she says, me, her and Faye in the bedroom and the boys hang out. <laughs> so that's what we're doing right now. <laughs> Don't open that one, that's foundation. No, that's not open. You can just pretend, yeah, that's fine. Anyways, I think we're gonna just chill in here, lay on the bed for a little bit. Nothing going on really today. <laughs> and we'll talk to you guys again soon. Bye.